Richard and I have had an idea. We want to make the cheapest travel show ever put to film. As many of you guys will know, there's a thing called Skyscanner where you can get a really good deal on a flight. And there's a feature on there where you can set the destination to anywhere and then sort by cheapest. That means you can get an incredibly cheap flight to an interesting location. Yeah, so we are gonna send Lucy Brown to London Stansted Airport yep. tomorrow morning. She will have absolutely zero idea where she's going. It will be to three countries in three days. It'll just be, whenever she gets to an airport, to the next cheapest destination from where she is. When she gets to each place, she's gotta make film herself on her phone, edit, and send to us a travel report which we shall see. Now we have dispatched a cameraman to go with her, but he's under strict orders not to interact with her in any way. So she's doing this on her own. It will be like your favorite travel show, but made for a tenner. It's brilliant. I suggest then, shall we call Lucy tomorrow morning yep. at the airport, mm -hmm. and only when she gets there, do we tell her where she's going, the next cheapest place that day. It's gonna be fun. Right, it's gonna be magnificent. See you in the morning. It's brilliant, this. Morning. Hello. How are you? Tired. It is It is early for you. This is early. Mike, Lucy's not an early morning girl, is she? No, not at all. Knowing her, this is, yeah, this is pretty sprightly in the morning. Yeah, but Lucy, this is exciting to, to, to get you going because you are, we are launching our new travel show today. This is it. Now, obviously, we're doing it on a budget. We haven't got a studio. And Mike and I are dispatching you as our reporter on our first travel show. Yay. Um, Yay, where, that's it. Just me, where am I going? Just you. So Mike, would you like to reveal to Lucy where she's going today on the first leg of her journey? Yes, yeah, so you're currently at London Stansted and the cheapest flight out of there this morning is to Milan, Italy for a grand total of 13 pounds. That sounds pretty good. 13 pounds to Milan. That is brilliant. So, Lucy, when is it? When is this flight? Yeah. Well, uh, you're getting on this flight in 40 minutes, so you better crack on. Okay, so I'm going to Milan. I know nothing about Milan. I need to have a travel show, and I have until basically just today. Yes, you have no choice. You're doing it. Um, it's going to be amazing. Good luck. Yeah, I'm just sending through your boarding pass now. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so you are, you're yeah, good to go. I would need that. Um, okay, um, I'm going to go because 40 minutes is not enough time to get to my gate. Okay, enjoy. Good luck. Milan beckons. Okay, Mike and Richard have just told me that I'm going to Milan. I've just checked that flight leaves in less than an hour, so I need to get through security and get my plane as soon as possible. Okay, I've somehow made it through security in time. They're calling me to the plane and I might have to run. Mike did not give me enough time to get through this airport. So I've just got on the plane, time to Google everything there is to know about Milan. Okay, so I have arrived in Milan, although it's not actually Milan. It turns out this airport, Milan Bergamo, is an hour away from the centre of Milan, so I'm going to have to somehow get myself to Milan. I'm guessing a coach will be the cheapest way to do that, so I'm going to go explore. I can see some coaches over there. Hopefully one goes into the centre of Milan, and I have enough time to actually do a travel piece on Milan. Bus per Milano. Okay, cars come from the opposite direction. Tickets are good at selling tickets. Probably shouldn't queue in the road. Okay, I am on the coach now. We are heading into Milan. I think it's about an hour to get there. This bus should be dropping me by the main sort of central station. Once I get there, the biggest thing to do apparently in Milan is visit the Duomo. So I'm going to go do that first. I think I can probably walk it from the station, otherwise there is a metro, so I'm going to go and investigate that when I get there, and I think I'll do my opening bit when I get to where I'm going now, where this bus drops me off, and then I'll probably move on to doing the first sort of piece, I guess, on Milan at the Duomo, so we'll see how we go. 
It's a popular holiday destination with over 800 hotels, 800, 800, 800, 800, 250 restaurants, 250, 250, 250, 250, 200 bars, 200, 200, more than 50 museums, 50 museums, 50 museums, 7 million tourists pass through, busiest time is Milan Fashion Week, 7 million, 800, 250, 250, 1.3 million, 7 million. Milan. Oh, I can't get the whole building in, damn it. Cool. Founded in 590 BC by some Celts, Milan is now Italy's second largest city with 1.3 million people living here. Just finished the intro, I'm now going to take the metro into the centre of town, I'm just waiting for the lift and then I'll be on my way. A bit worried by all the police and military presence. Milan is probably most known for this massive building behind me. This is the Duomo di Milano. Duomo di Milano. One of the largest cathedrals in the world. Okay, one and a half minute. It's quite a precise metro time. That is quite impressive. Ugh, wide angle is needed. I've arrived in probably one of the most famous places in Milan, the Duomo di Milano. I'm going to do a piece on it for the travel show. Then I'm going to move on to the Galleria, which is just over there. That's going to be my next piece. So far, it's not too bad. The sun's out, sunglasses are on, coats off. Let's continue to explore Milan. I am having some issue with the pigeons. I really hate pigeons and they are absolutely everywhere. There's so many tourists who are just paying people to give them feed, to have the pigeons land on them. I can't think of anything worse than having some infested flying rat land on me and having to pay for that to happen. No, thank you. Oh, they're everywhere. Why, why would you feed them? Ugh. It's one of my worst nightmares to actually be attacked by pigeons. So like, you know, when you have like a recurring, oh my God, no. Uh, could you, I'm just gonna do a video if that's okay. Video, I'll just, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, perfect, thank you. Oh, uh, what is your name? <laughs> Lucy. Hmm? Lucy, what's yours? Fadi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm just gonna, yeah. Okay. Hello, Lucy. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How do you like Milan? I'm loving it so far. It's so warm compared to England. It took a new canal system, almost six centuries, and thousands of workers to build. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, that's a big glass roof. Right next to the Duomo is the Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II. No. Galleria. Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. Okay. Right next to the Duomo is the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, one of the oldest active shopping galleries in Milan. Okay, I need to find the arms and the bull testicles so I can spin on the bull balls. <laughs> bull balls. <laughs> Excuse me, would you mind filming me doing it? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck is guaranteed. Thank you. Oh, I look like such a muppet. I've just finished in the gallery, I've done my piece for the travel show. Now I'm going to move on to the giant statue of Leonardo da Vinci. I'm going to try and get a high prolapse from here to there because it's just a straight line. Get out of my way. Okay, big statue of Leo. Leonardo DiCaprio. Nope, da Vinci. If you walk through the gallery, you get to the rather impressive Piazza della Scala, the centre of which is marked by a pretty big statue of Leonardo da Vinci. 
Panzerotti. Ooh, onion, olives and tomato. Oh, hello. Um, can I get one of those, please? I'm not at the filling yet. I've just had a panzerotti for lunch. It was pretty good. Weird texture, but decent. I'm now going to take the metro and go up to the location where you can find the Last Supper. Once I've done those two pieces, I'm pretty much done for the travel show. I do need to do an outro somewhere. I'm not sure where it's going to be yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Santa Maria della Grazia. Church, the Barca, Leonardo da Vinci, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ah, here it is. It's all a bit shaded. I kind of mm, this side could work. Oh, cafe. It's sit in the cafe, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Pacino, please. Thank you. I have arrived where the last supper is kept, in the building behind me. I've got a lovely cappuccino, which I'm going to enjoy in the sun while I figure out what I'm going to say. I've Googled a few things, but I need to figure out how I'm going to say it for the travel piece. So that's a day in Milan. I've really enjoyed exploring the city and I definitely recommend a visit. Ciao. Okay, editing. Lucy, hello, how are you? Good, tired. Um, I've sent you an edit of the travel show. I've got it here. Have you got yours, Mike? Got mine. Right, Mike, are you ready? We're going to watch this. I am ready. Do you want okay, to count me I'm in? Count down from three. And so three, two, one, then we're here. Yes, so yep. three, two, one, go. Founded in 590 BC by some Celts, Milan is now Italy's second largest city with 1.3 million people living here. It's a popular holiday destination with over 800 hotels, 250 restaurants, 200 bars and more than 50 museums. Someone's been on Wikipedia. Throughout the year, up to 7 million tourists pass through, the busiest time being during Milan Fashion Week. Now that we're here, let's see what Milan has to offer. Milan is probably most known for this massive building behind me. This is the Duomo di Milano. Oh, I love the pigeon. One of the largest cathedrals in the world. In the world. Little pause. <laughs> it took a new canal system, almost six centuries, and thousands of workers to build. How did you hold that together with that pigeon? That is phenomenal. It's one of the most popular things to do in Milan, according to TripAdvisor. Right next to the Duomo is the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. Oh, did you hear that? That was Italian she was speaking. Good girl. One of the oldest active shopping galleries in Milan. It was named after the first king of Italy who wanted to modernise the historic city centre in the 1860s. The gallery's mosaic floor pays tribute to Florence, Rome, Turin and Milan. According to local tradition, spinning counterclockwise with your heel over the bull's testicles brings good luck and wards off evil. Oh, look at that! Making a muppet of yourself in front of strangers, that's brilliant! Was that a TikTok dance? If you walk through the gallery, you get to the rather impressive Piazza della Scala, the centre of which is marked by a pretty big statue of Leonardo da Vinci. While you're here, why not try some local food? Milan is famous for Milanese risotto, cotoletta, gorgonzola and much more. If you're on the go, I recommend this, a panzerotti. It's basically a deep fried pizza dough pasty with a sweet or savoury filling. I've gone for tomato and onion. Let's see how it tastes. It's always more of a donut dough. Yummy. Behind me is the Santa Maria della Grazia. Santa Maria della Grazia. A famous church here because it's the home of the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a very popular destination to visit and if you want to actually see the mural inside, you're going to have to book tickets up to two months in advance. So that's a day in Milan. I've really enjoyed exploring the city and I definitely recommend a visit. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, Lucy, that's brilliant, mate. Well done. <laughs> I'm just, just, you've been busy. You like really hit the place. Did you yeah. do all your research on the plane? 
Yeah, I saved some stuff before I got on and then the had an hour. You, you didn't send me to Milan. You sent me to an hour away from Milan. So I had to take an hour long coach into town. So I had to take the cheap airport. Pounds. We spent 13 pounds, Lucy, on you as our correspondent. But you did as proud. You covered the place. It's you've got loads of locations in. You got pigeon in. You tried the local food. A ton of information. I feel like I've been there. I've travelled. That's that's. This is our travel show. That's what we wanted. Well done. I'm really impressed. You impressed, Mike? I think she's done good. Yeah. I mean, that was an attack pigeon that happened there as well. But I think the main thing, some of the accent going on there, the pronunciation was fantastic. Um, You can have the rest of the evening off, but remember, no room service because we're doing this on a budget. You've already spent 13 quid. Uh, We're not telling you where you're going tomorrow yet, Um, but Mike can give you some details. Over to you, Mike. Yes, if you can make sure that you're back at the airport for 6 a.m. Sorry, another early start. And you will receive a message as to where your destination is. Good luck. We'll be thinking of you and we can't wait to see it tomorrow. The cheapest flight out of Milan is... Go and film a travel show, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's just a child pissing. (laughs) 